All right, Logan. We got six tiers, S, A, B, C, D, and F. Today, we're gonna be doing the video game characters tier list. Now, I got 12 of these uh, video game characters. Try to get a good variety. Obviously, there's a lot of uh, different video games and all sorts of characters from video yeah, games. Yeah, there's a, there, you could do a lot of really good ones because <laughs> because there's also some obscure games oh yeah so yeah there's a lot of different characters so i feel like i got a pretty good list of some mainstream ones and some ones maybe some people don't know about okay first up of course we had to start with an absolute banger cal Kestis. i have no attachment <laughs> to cal Kestis. i will be honest with you i know you don't i'm gonna kind of rock with what you want to do with it but I do think it would be cool to see him like in a live action show or something now. Oh, dude, it'd be so cool to see him live action. I, I don't know. Who, I don't know who would play him though. Like, who looks like him the most? Hmm. <laughs> maybe what we'll to do? Yeah, maybe what we'll, we'll to think about that. I don't know who would play him. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, I do have attachment to this character. I think he's a great character. Story's still not finished yet. Call him Cody Rhodes. He's got to finish. The story. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's got to finish the story. So we got one more game coming out. So for that reason. I'm gonna. I think I would probably put him A, because the story's not quite done, mm -hmm. and I want to see how that ends up, and then I can do a fair. I feel like a fair assessment of his character. And but. even though I said I have no attachment to him, which I don't, mm -hmm. I could like the fact that he has two games and he's getting a third. Yeah, like I completely understand having him that high. Like it, like he he's one of the characters that that actually makes sense to be that high because there's so much content of him yeah at and, this point. and everybody loves when they want to see how the story ends so yeah, yeah. You, you can go in there i'm absolutely cool with that all right getting to our second character we got luke skywalker from battlefront 2 2017 this is this is pretty good now this is going because there's i know there's some some people might feel differently about this because if you're luke skywalker like you you like you used him in the game he was pretty good yeah but if you played against him and you played against the good Luke Skywalker character, it might annoy the crap out of you. But also what I was thinking of is him in in the story. That too. Yeah, he was he's really like, good in the story. Yeah. That's I, I feel like a lot of people use the Battlefront 2 story and mm -hmm. and how Luke is in it as like the prime example of what Luke needs to be. Exactly, yeah. I'll agree with you on that. And so I think that raises him up a lot for me. Yeah, I didn't use him a lot in the game, but you know I'm absolute dog meat <laughs> with any anyone with a lightsaber. Yeah. I'm terrible. So. Yeah, look at always pick the blaster character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, like we're we're going we're going into a heroes versus villains. We've got four lightsabers on the other side, mm -hmm. and our side has three. And then I'm like Princess Leia. <laughs> like, <laughs> that was so funny. Yeah, but he was a really good character, obviously story wise. Um, mm -hmm. And then obviously in the game, he was also a really good character. <clears throat> Playing against a good Luke, though, man, that is that is really annoying. Playing against any lightsaber character that was nasty was frustrating. But he he has the the force push, right? <clears throat> yeah, he's got the force push, and then he's got that uh like the, the ground thing where he can push people back. Oh yeah. And then he's got that one. It's the R1 ability where it like spins around and twirls his lightsaber or something. Mm -hmm. and, then, mm -hmm. and that also helps him to get away because that's what Luke players did. They just run yeah. away. That was, that was like the meme. I'd probably also put him A. I, I think I can agree with A. Because with how you know with how annoying it was to play against him, I can't put him S. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I would if I would put him S. It's just like, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm <laughs> trying to say at this point. Well, I'm absolutely cool with putting him in A. All right, Logan, our third character here. Admiral Carius from uh, Vader Immortal, that uh, VR, those okay, like, the three-part yeah. Vader Immortal games. Mm -hmm. um, I picked him mainly because I mean, I mean this dude looks insane. Yeah, he looks sick. <laughs> he looks insane, and he's also, you guessed it, very evil. Oh, all right. <laughs> of course, being at the Empire, you just have to be evil. That's just the requirement. But overall, he was a pretty cool character, especially like in the VR world, like. When I was playing it, it was so weird because you're like eye level with the like this guy, for example. Vader, you're not. Vader's like you know, which makes sense because he's like super tall. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but this guy, you're about eye level with, and it's like weird at first because it's like it feels like you're almost there. 
like eye level talking like this guy's talking to yeah. you giving you a monologue <clears throat> so that's one of the reasons why i want to include him and second off obviously i mean look at him he looks i mean absolutely insane <laughs> like this mat like this mass type thing he's got is just mm. insane you can tell this dude's just he's going through it he gone through it i've got no stake in this game so <laughs> you it's all it's all on you i'm mm. not even gonna say that's here just off of drip level though, he'd yeah. be S, but mm -hmm. that's kind of what I wanted to get your opinion on was mainly was the, the drip? drip, mainly the drip for him. Uh, it's obviously, S tier drip. Because obviously, I can I can like look at the character and like yeah. <laughs> so obviously, this guy's always trying not to get was out to get you. So mm -hmm. don't like him as character. <laughs> Very evil, but the drip helps. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably put him like B. Okay, I think that's fair. Cause he, his character is pretty good. And mm -hmm. obviously the drip is just absurd. Yeah, it's like, off the charts. Like it's crazy. Like this, we need to have this guy on an imperial like officer drip or something tier list. Or uh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. We need to do another imperial troopers. Just imperial troopers. Throw mm -hmm. him on there. <clears throat> That'd be guaranteed ass. But yeah, B for Admiral Carries. Number four is up. <laughs> we got Lego uh, the com or uh, complete saga Jar Jar Binks. We always. We always include Lego Jar Jar in something at this point. Just have to, I feel like. Uh, he's S <laughs> to me. Yeah, like gameplay wise, character wise, I mean, he he a great character in the game, super useful. That that double jump is, I mean, it's insane. When you get him in in his level, it's just like, you feel like a superhuman compared to using Pygon and Obi Wan. <laughs> Which is crazy because you would think that they would have like the crazy jump, but yeah, nah, it's Jar Jar, so. I'm absolutely cool with throwing uh throwing Jar Jar in the S tier. He's just iconic too. Oh, he's so iconic. You, you have to include him in S. Moving on to number five, we got K Vess. I have no stake in this either. I wanted to include her because I know there's some people, there's a lot of differing opinions out here. Yeah. Right. So first of all, if you say she's not attractive, you're lying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just gonna say that right now. Mm-hmm. Um, second off, I honestly didn't mind her character. I thought she had a pretty good character, especially character arc throughout the game. I wish the story was a little bit longer, but that's neither here nor there. Um, yeah, that's, that's a gripe with the game, not the character. Exactly, yeah. <clears throat> so, but overall, like, I liked her character development, I liked her arc. I, I think this is a pretty solid character. Um, the drip could use a little bit of work. <laughs> I do like the haircut. Jacket's not bad. You I like the haircut? Yeah, I honestly don't mind the haircut. I actually think it's pretty fire. I like that out of you. <laughs> Very tough. <laughs> <laughs> is she cow level though? Cow? Uh, probably not. I wouldn't say she's probably cow level. But I'd probably put her B too. Okay. Honestly. I mean, like I said, I got no stake in that, so. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I can't put her cow level quite. Unless they make another game, then maybe, but. Yeah. Moving on to number six. You got Darth Revan from Galaxy of Heroes. Oh, Galaxy of Heroes, Darth <laughs> Revan. This has to be S, bro. This ha dude, he is filthy. I knew you were going to love He's, this one. Oh my god. No, this is a, an insane choice, bro. I love this choice. It has to be S to I, me. I've never got to use him, but from what I've seen, bro, I mean, he looks twi- dude. He is unreal. <laughs> unreal. He looks absolutely insane. I mean, the drip alone is crazy. The 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 way he plays is just... I gotta get him on my account. <laughs> I feel like Revan in any video game, w like, is a top tier character. Like, he's, he's just he's be. just a good character in general. He's gotta be. But, yeah, no. Galaxy of Heroes, Darth Revan. <laughs> Dude, the motherfucker is nasty, man. <laughs> I'm absolutely cool with that S tier because that's honestly what I was thinking too. <laughs> so it, it, he's insane. All right, going on to number seven, we got Mace Windu from Battlefront 2, 2007. 2005. Or 2005, not 2007. He has a lightsaber throw, correct? I think I he believe does. he does. I believe he has a lightsaber which, throw. Which that increases the the yeah. level for it. Yeah. The tier. Yeah, um, the lightsaber is definitely useful. The lightsaber throw is definitely useful. Hmm. I'm trying to think about what map he was on as a... I think it was just Coruscant that he was the hero. I don't think he was on any other one. 
but I love the Coruscant level on that game. <clears throat> and that Coruscant that level is really good. Like, it's just the temple. Yeah, that Coruscant level is very good. The thing is, like, it's weird comparing this to something like Cal Kestis. Because it's like you're you're going off of, like, this is just, like, <laughs> strictly gameplay. <clears throat> That's true. Whereas Cal, you can kind of add in both, like... Mm. Because Cal's the... entire story is in video games. That's true. Mace's story isn't. That's true. But we also did just put Galaxy of Heroes Revan at S <laughs> and and Lego Jar Jar Binks at S. So <laughs> Lego Jar Jar is a crazy story, dude. I wouldn't <laughs> mind putting this in A. I feel like he's one of the better light side characters it because of the lightsaber. Threat. It definitely feels like it. Like he's definitely very useful. Maybe B? Yeah, probably B. I think that's a little bit more reasonable with... Yeah, with what we have so far? Yeah. Yeah. I would say probably B. Because I, I feel like there's other characters in that game that you would just... I, you'd just be more enticed to use. <laughs> that too. There's always that other character that you would want to use. Uh, but yeah, I, I think B's a pretty good spot. Because he is... Like, he's a good character. The lightsaber throw... The Coruscant level, like he definitely is a good character in the game, mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm cool with B. Getting into number eight, got Scorch. So obviously, he's from Republic Commando. I couldn't find a good Republic Commando because he's not really like you don't see him in the game because yeah. you're playing as him. So I just have a regular picture of Scorch here, but obviously, do you play as no, you don't play as Scorch, you play as boss or boss. Yeah, what am I thinking? That's my, <laughs> that's my bad. <laughs> but still. So so wait, so we're ranking Scorch. <clears throat> Scorch, okay. yes. Um, so he's the demolitions expert. Yeah. I might have to put him F because we couldn't I couldn't get past the fucking Gene Ocean thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. What the, I don't even remember what it was called. Like oh the Gene Ocean gosh. Magician or some shit. The magician. <laughs> It was, dude. You know what I'm talking oh, about, though. It was man. like that thing that was flying, and it would just shoot like a beam, like a laser. Yeah. Like, like what? I'm playing against futuristic Geonosians. Like, this, I didn't see this shit in the movie. Like, dude, I gotta watch that video back. <laughs> like, dude, I, I get torched by. Like, oh, man. if Scorch would fucking help me or something, like shoot at it too, <laughs> maybe we'd be able to get past that part. Oh man, that's so funny, dude. <laughs> uh, that's so funny. I what, forgot about that. I mean, what were you even thinking here? Like, what's what was your first thought for a tier? Well, obviously I think about, you know, he's definitely useful. Um, he definitely adds that, like, dramatic effect if you want to just, like, completely destroy, blow up a door, and mm -hmm. then just start charging in. Like, that. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, obviously, his character is pretty good, too. I, I do enjoy his character. I might put him C, bro. I, I'm so heated at every <laughs> motherfucker dude. in that game. <laughs> I'm so heated at them all. The Logan's got beef with the whole, uh, what are, what are they, Del not Delta Squad. They are yeah. Delta, yeah. Delta Squad. <laughs> I've got <laughs> beef with them all, dude. Oh, man. I know, I'd probably go like BC range for the video game purposes. <laughs> We're going C. So I guess we'll go C since you're set on C. <laughs> oh, fuck Delta Squad. Dude. <laughs> be off, man. He's so mad. Dude, I gotta watch that video back. That was so. Not funny. boss though. Boss is cool because I'm playing. Because you're like, playing. Yeah, as I can't a, criticize myself. The only cool one. I'm blaming it on everyone else for not getting past that part. <laughs> All right, getting into number nine, uh, Aaron Tall from Star Wars Hunters. Have you played the game? Uh, I've watched it. Okay, I haven't so, played it. Okay, yeah, I've watched it and I've watched him. He does low key have drip. That's why. That's one of the reasons I wanted to include him. Okay. The drip was crazy. Like the helmet. Also, what are those guns? I have no idea, but they look insane. Sorry, the the the, 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 ch the chain's a little the spinner, loud. The spinner chain. <laughs> <laughs> now those guns are crazy. Yeah, they look absolutely sick. Are they nasty in the game? I think he's pretty good, cause like you can like so obviously he's got the jetpack, so if you need to make a quick escape, you can fly around and make a quick escape. I think, I think he is a DPS character, so I think he does pretty good damage. Okay. Um, obviously the drip is on point. I mean, just off a of drip alone, I'd put him B, maybe. I like him. I'm, I'm going to agree with B. I like his look. I'm going to agree with B. Because obviously, okay. there's not much of like a character yeah. <laughs> type of thing. It's more so basing him off the gameplay and the look. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, like I, my favorite part is the helmet. Like, the helmet is pretty crazy. Yeah. 
Let's go ahead and get into number 10. We got Nyx, also from Star Wars Outlaws. <laughs> what are you thinking? Um, so obviously off of usefulness, Nyx is like super useful. Like you use, you use them a lot for different stealth sections. Obviously, you know, he was, he was rescued. He was, uh, trying to think of what the, I don't remember like the, I don't know the timeline, but, um, mm -hmm. uh, K ended up getting him out of like a cage cause he was, he was going to be sold. Cause he's like, he's like an exotic, uh, like animal. So like, I don't even think he has like a home, like from where he's from yet, like a home planet. Mm -hmm. So, you know, first of his kind, don't really know much about the species, but I mean, some people don't like him. I think he's adorable, especially in the game. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. Just just <laughs> off of the look and like what I've seen of him, I'd put him ass, bro. I mean, he's very like I, I said, very I love, I love the look of him. You know what? I'm I'm gonna agree. I would love to have one. I'm gonna agree. I'm gonna throw next an ass too. Like if I want a pet from Star Wars, <laughs> like this is what you want. Like I like a Loth cat. But like I think this is cuter than a loth cat. Yeah. Maybe. It's close. See if I was built like I would have I would have this as a pet and you gotta have baby Yoda as a son. Oh okay, yeah. And that that's like the perfect like That's the perfect duo. That's what I'm saying. Like that's just I mean I hope in the Mando and Grogu movies <laughs> Mando adopts one of these things. Dude, that would be awesome. <laughs> That'd be so awesome. <laughs> You just have to hope Grogu doesn't eat him. Or try, try, try to eat him. <laughs> He's always up to something. <laughs> now number 11. <laughs> Got angry for this is a, This is S tier too. This is S tier. You know, I was sitting here thinking, I'm like, video games, video games. And I looked up like all stars video games. And I was just like scrolling through trying to get an idea. And I seen Angry Birds. And it reminded me when we were recording that. And I remembered how truly Jar Jar was. Dude, I had to I them. absolutely loved playing as Jar Jar in that game. <laughs> I had to include Like you Jar. you could actually legitimately get sick ass Angry Birds clips by <laughs> using Jar Jar. It was hilarious. It was Jar Jar and it was uh, I think you were also Panaka. You were also had some oh, crazy yeah. clips. Oh yeah. Well, because Panaka, like <laughs> any of the blaster characters in that game, you could just you would just launch them and then shoot, and it's just an insta kill. Like yeah. Like that's how you, that's how you would cheese a game. Mm -hmm. But Jar Jar, like you're you're grabbing onto stuff with your tongue and and swinging. <laughs> like nah, bro, it was insane. I'd put it ass for sure. I'm not gonna disagree. Angry Birds Jar Jar. <laughs> that's that's two S tiers for Jar Jar on this. Off of the look alone, I gotta go. Uh, I mean, that's just, that's true. It's, he looks so trolly. It's hilarious. And getting to the twelfth and final one, whoop de doo, big shocker, video game characters. Guess who's up? <laughs> Star Killer. Star Killer. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, I'm going S. I already talked. about I'm him. going S. <laughs> uh, <laughs> No, Star Killer is fucking sick. I mean, I like I said, I don't need really talk about much. I've already talked about him too much already. You know what you should have put on here? What? You should have put Darth Vader from uh, Force Unleashed. Oh, when he does yeah. the, I lied. I lied. Because <laughs> he'd be S tier purely off of that. <laughs> like, That's Aura, dude. I lied. <laughs> That's what I definitely. There's definitely a. I definitely had a couple more ideas now sitting here, like before we started doing this. So, what's the line that he says that that Vader responds like that? You agreed to stay away. Yeah. I lied, and <laughs> it just cuts to him. <laughs> oh man, because Loki, I'm putting I'm putting Star Killer and S off of that line. <laughs> You agreed to stay away. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> I lied. Oh man, dude, that was the funniest. That that's so funny. But talk about a top-heavy tier list, though. Yeah, it's a definitely five in S. Top-heavy. I mean, putting Nyx in S is probably insanely controversial, but oh, well, there's no doubt it is. But you know what? The motherfucker's cute. I don't bro. care. I don't care. He's cute, adorable, and he he's like super useful in the game for stealth wise. Like like, he, like you like get you get an ability. He's cute, mm -hmm. 
the two Jar Jars, I mean, that's just a given. I mean, that's easy. <laughs> Galaxy of Heroes, <laughs> Darth Revan is like, that's if you don't have R. that in S, you're tweaking. And then Star Killer is like, that's an easy I mean, that's, S. That's so. an easy S, yeah. And honestly, at this point, Cal Kestis, I was thinking about putting him in S, but I was like, I don't know. The most controversial one is either going to be Nyx or Scorch in C. Yeah, people are not going to People Scorch love form. Scorch. I don't even hate Scorch. Yeah, I don't hate Scorch. I like Scorch, but I don't know, man. Some of these, this, this is kind of top. This is definitely kind of top heavy. So definitely wasn't in his favor. But my favorite one out of all of them would be Sev. Yeah, that's my. That'd be my favorite. Yeah, one. yeah. He, he's got the most oil. Oh, yeah. Easily.